far. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, David, you know, there's been so much talk about the religious exemption language. Can you hear me? I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. There's been so much talk about the religious exemption language. And you just stated that the, there is a broad exemption for religious organizations. So if that's the case, let's talk. Let's go to page six. Let's go to lines four through 13. So you keep saying everybody believes that there's a broad religious exemption, including yourself, Attorney General. So if that is in fact the case, how would a situation apply, let's say if you have a same-sex couple who brings their child in for a christening at a church, and that, that church refuses? Is that, does this uh, broad religious protection apply? I believe that it would. Where do you get that from? Um, I believe that the religious organization, uh, the, 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 the statement of it is, is that it is, I'm sorry, uh, this only applies specifically to solemnization. Okay, so yes. if it only applies to solemnization, then it's not as broad. So let's go through solemnization for the lay public. Isn't that essentially the actual marriage, the I find you, you know, I now pronounce you man and wife, husband and wife, I pronounce you husband and husband, wife and wife? The actual ceremony, correct? Yes, in general, yes. Okay, so really this religious, this broad religious exemption may not be as broad as you think it is? It certainly would go towards um, what is generally regarded as marriages. I mean, it's broad but again, in, that, in, that, in that respect. There's been so much discussion about broad religious exemptions. Uh -huh. And again, I just brought up this situation of a child a child born to a same-sex couple who is the, ch you know, the child of a same-sex couple, and in that situation, if a church was to refuse on religious grounds, would this exemption apply? And you said no. I'm sorry, I apologize. It's okay. Uh, um, could you say that one more time? Okay, so there's just been so much discussion that this religious exemption is broad, and when I posed the fact situation to you, if you have a same-sex couple who brings their child into a church, and wants their child to be christened, and that church refuses on religious grounds, this exemption would not apply, correct? Uh, specifically, I, I don't see that this would apply. Okay, so again, maybe the, this... To your hypothetical. So maybe this broad exemption really only applies to the ceremony and not the plethora of other situations that occur, could occur given, the, um, given how much our churches are involved in our, in our society today. Okay, and, well, I would note that it talks about a marriage celebration, so. Yes, that's, that's true, and that's right. in connection with the solemnization, right. but again, the christening situation, obviously. And I don't believe the state gets involved in those christening situations. Okay, thank you. 